stuff that should be in your bag. So we're going to be going over things that you should carry in your cue case as a beginner and what's going to be added in as you advance through your game. Okay, so what, uh, when I first started out, uh, I had just a standard pool bag just like this. Uh, I might have got it at like Walmart or something like that. And it's really inexpensive to get, you know, just something to carry your cues in. Um, Came with a little car or like a little pouch where you can put some stuff in there. Um, it's a single barrel, which means that when you open this up, uh, it only carries uh, one cue. That means that once you break it down, it has a compartment for um, one piece of your cue and then the second piece of your cue. Um, so, what I carried in my bag uh, that uh, I noticed that that you should carry in yours is it's very simple. You should carry a piece of cloth, and the reason why you need to pair, uh, carry a piece of cloth is so you can wipe your stick down before you put it into your bag. Um, and then of course, chalk. Now I like to keep my chalk in a baggie, simply because um, you know chalk does kind of crumble or whatnot, and uh, if you keep other things in there, uh, it just gets messy, so keep it in a baggie. So uh, if you're beginning, that's pr that's pretty much the, what you should have. Uh, the reason why I carry my own chalk is that sometimes when you go to like a bar or something like that, you'll see um, some off-brand chalk that you don't really want to put on your stick, which is crap. Or you'll see chalk that's really dug in, like somebody took um, a drill and just like drilled a hole straight halfway down to the chalk. Um, those are your you're totally recreational players who uh, don't understand that there's so much more chuck that you can be used uh, than just drilling a hole into it. Um, and then of course, you know, why you bring your... All right guys, so we're gonna be going through my bag now. Um, so this is a, a two by two, which allows me to carry two cues. Uh, so two butts, two shafts. Um, we're gonna be going through the pockets, what I carry. Um, so my top pocket, I carry Chalk, lots of chalk. Uh, like I said, I have a tendency to leave mine at the bar uh, after a match, so uh, I carry extra chalk in my bag to make sure that I always have chalk with me. Um, the other things that I carry in the bigger pocket down here are my cue claw, a timer, a coin holder, and a writing utensil of some kind. Um, so as I've gone through my skill level and gotten higher in my levels and became a captain, uh, I carry the timer for my timeouts for my team, um, coin holder, so that's when I'm out practicing if the table's not open, I have quarters with me to pay for it, cue claw allows me to place my cues up against the table and not have to worry about them falling down, and a writing utensil for when I'm keeping score, I always have something with me um, so that I can do that. Uh, and then on the inside are just my two cues. So I have my shooter and my break cue. All right, so we went over what you should have in your bag. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, not only choose what you're gonna get if you're starting out uh, and going to the uh, store to buy your cues. It also shows you what's going to be added into your bag as you progress through um, your skill level going up. The more you go up, the more stuff you're going to wind up with in your bag. So just a special shout out to Corby who asked that question about what should be in your bag. Thanks a lot for um, giving us that question and giving us an idea to put this video together. Don't forget to comment, subscribe below. Um, you know, we're going to have more videos coming out, hopefully some giveaways coming up soon. Hope to see you on the table.